Hi, I'm Kelly, and I want to tell you the story of how I overcame a broken heart. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, but here goes. I met James in the last year of high school. It was one of those cliched fall in love at first sight, like something out of a movie kind of relationships. We went everywhere together, and the year that we dated was the best year of my life. I thought that for sure we would grow old together and that it would last forever. I had secretly been pinning engagement rings on my Pinterest board and then deliberately leaving my laptop open every time it was over with the hope that he would see which style I liked best. That's how in love we were. I mean, I was already planning our wedding. Then one Sunday, after we had finished lunch at my grandma's place and were walking home, he asked me to stop for a second. He seemed nervous. My heart started to race, and I wondered if this was going to be the moment. After all, this was the exact spot where he had asked me to be his girlfriend on our very first date. I wondered if he'd asked a friend to hide in the bushes and capture the moment. Did I look okay? Before I could even glance down at what I was wearing, he blurted out, Kelly, I can't do this anymore. I'm breaking up with you. I just need to focus more on my studies. I cried for weeks. I tore up every single photo we'd ever taken together, and I thought about running away. I didn't want to be anywhere near him. One night, I was looking for bus tickets online when the idea came to me. Why should it be me who has to run away? He was the bad guy here. The next day at school, we had our final French exam. James loved French. He was planning on studying it in college and had even signed up for a summer school in Paris. I went to sleep that night with a big grin on my face as the idea swirled around in my head. I woke up extra early the next morning and cycled into school. I arrived even before the janitor. Our French exam was taking place in the school hall, and the day before, the class leader had helped our teacher to lay out the dictionaries on everyone's desks. I was positive my plan would go smoothly. According to the seating chart, James would be sat at desk number 37. It was so easy. I slipped a sheet of paper into his dictionary that looked like a list of answers and quickly left. Two hours later, we all sat down for the exam and just as I had hoped, as James lifted up his dictionary, the piece of paper slipped out and landed on the floor at his feet. The teacher saw it happen and asked him to follow her out of the room. Everyone watched him leave in disbelief. James was the top student. I tried not to laugh as the examiner ordered us all to start the exam, knowing that James would be in deep trouble and hopefully expelled. It served him right. How dare he break my heart and think he could get away with it? This would show him. I finished the exam and left feeling smug. James wasn't in chemistry that afternoon, and so it seemed my plan had worked. I should have been happy, right? Revenge is supposed to be sweet and everything. That's what people say. But why did I start crying on my cycle home? I couldn't even eat dinner, and Mom had cooked my favorite. I couldn't sleep that night nor the next night. I didn't understand what was happening to me. It felt worse than heartbreak. It was this feeling deep inside me, gnawing away at me. I soon realized what it was. Guilt. I felt so unbearably guilty. After a week of not sleeping, I went to see our French teacher and told her what happened. I couldn't bear to have James hurt like this. I was suspended for the last week of term, but they let me finish my exams. My parents were furious, and of course, James never spoke to me again. He was allowed to take the exam, and then he flew straight to Paris. I felt so bad. I just wanted him to feel a little bit of the pain that I was feeling. But I never imagined that getting revenge on him would hurt me too. If you've had your heart broken, it's best to just accept it, forgive, and move on. Life's too short to hold grudges, and revenge ends up hurting you even more than the person it was served to. Lesson well and truly learned. And as for James, 
I hope he's enjoying Paris. And I really mean that. What do you think of this story? Feel free to share your comments and stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.